Welcome explorers. Today's video is about the introduction on auto key cipher. So let's see. So now let's start our discussion on auto key cipher. Now before going into the algorithmic part, I would like to give you the basic overview for this cipher. Now similar to the polyalphabetic cipher, this auto key cipher is also a kind of substitution cipher. But the basic difference between the two ciphers lies in the fact of how the key or the intermediate text is framed in both the cases. In the case of polyalphabetic cipher, we had seen that the elongated text, elongated key text or the intermediate text was formed by all the letters of the key repeating again and again. But in the case of auto key cipher, the intermediate text will be formed by first of all taking all the characters or letters of the key and then filling the remaining slots of the characters by the characters of the plain text. And also one more important thing is that similar to the polyalphabetic cipher in the case of auto key cipher also the length of the intermediate text will be equal to the length of the plain text. So that is one very important similarity between the two ciphers. And this auto key cipher also resembles to Vishinier cipher as does polyalphabetic cipher. This cipher was invented by Blaise de Vishinier in 1586 and is in more general and is in general more secure than Vishinier cipher. And now let's move on to the algorithmic part. First of all, as usual, you will have to take the plain text as well as the key from the user and the intermediate text or the key text will be produced according to basic two rules. The first rule as I already mentioned, the length of the intermediate text will be equal to the length of the plain text and the first n characters where n is the length of the key will be consisting of the characters of the key and the remaining t minus n where t is the total length of the plain text will be consisting of the letters of the plain text from the first letter of the plain text till whatever letter we have come across. And after that, after forming the intermediate text, you will have to take the help of the special table as we had done in the previous cipher, as in the case of the previous cipher, you will have to frame one special table, which was also known as the tableau or the tabula recta. Now from the individual cipher elements and intersection points corresponding to the elements of plain text, row wise and intermediate text column wise. So don't worry about that. It is quite similar to the previous cipher only that is the polyalphabetic cipher. The rules are very similar only the basic difference is in the fact that how the intermediate text is formed in the case of the two ciphers. And after getting each of the cipher elements you will have to concatenate them with the cipher text and keep on making the cipher text or the encrypted text bigger. And finally at the end of the algorithm you should display the encrypted text. So now let's see with the help of an example how that actually happens. Okay, so in the case of example one, as you can see, we have one plain text as well as one key. So the plain text is we are discovered, save yourself as the previous one and the key is deceptive and then we have the remaining characters from the set of characters of the plain text. But we don't have all the characters. We have only those set of characters from the beginning of the plain text string until that character that is V which satisfies the given condition which is plain text equal to key. So as you can see the length of the plain text is equal to the length of the key. And now you have to take the help of the tableau or the tabula recta to encrypt the plain text. Now how can you do that? For example, the first character or the letter in the plain text we have W and the key we have D. So find W in the row wise fashion, W is here as you can see and where is D? So A, B, C, D. So Z is here as you can see D is here. So for the plain text you will have to go row wise whereas for the key you will have to go column wise. And so the first encrypted element is Z and now let us take the second last example. The second last example or the character in the case of plain text is L and the second last character in the place of key is A. So L and A. So find where is L row wise. L is here as you can see. And find value is A. A is here only. So you will have to write L in the place of the second last character of the encrypted text. 
and for the last character also you will have to do the same thing in fact for the remaining characters in fact for the remaining characters you will have to do the same thing and get the encrypted text and now let us move on to the next example in the next example the plain text we had taken is the traitors have gone on to our nerves ok so the first character here is t and the first character for the key string is d so find where is t row wise t is here as you can see and find where is d column wise d is here so the intersection element which we had got here is w so for that only we had written the first letter of the encrypted text as w and for the last letter in the case of plain text we had got s and in the last letter of the key string we have got 0 we have got o so find where it says in the row wise fashion s lies here and 0 sorry again I am doing the same mistake o lies here o lies here in fact so basically we have come across g so basically for that only we have written the last character as g and for the remaining characters also we have to do the same thing now let us move on to the last example in the last example the plain text which I have taken is we are hearing made a calls and the key is deceptive decept and the key is deceptive we are hearing m a and now for the first character we have w and for the first character here we have d in the case of key so w and d find where is w row wise w is here and d is here so we have got z and for the second last character in the case of pt we have l and the second last character for key is m so l and m so l lies here and find where is m m lies here so for that only we had got x and so we had written the second last character as x and for the last character we have s and a so row wise s lies here and column wise a is the first one so we are going to write s here so that is how you can encrypt any given plain text with the help of a key or intermediate text to get the encrypted text by following the norms of the auto key cipher. So that is all from this video I hope you enjoyed this do not forget to like share and subscribe let us meet in the next video until then keep exploring.